count them but dumb, but I may win Christ. We've been standing here this morning, giving tracts out, preaching to people, and we find that one of our biggest enemies is religion. My associate has been threatened. Why? Because he preaches against religion. The Apostle Paul, the verse that I've just read, was a very religious man. Indeed, he had people killed and tortured before he was born again. Religion will destroy you. You need to come out of organized religion and be born again. A true Christian would never hurt you. A true Christian would never lie to you. A true Christian would never hate you. A true Christian would go the extra mile for you. But religion is dirty, it is evil, it is corrupt. The Apostle Paul was a Hebrew of Hebrews. He suffered everything for lost that he might win Christ. It is my view that his family disowned him when he stood for the cross of Christ. You people today have heard the gospel preached. Most of you reject it. Most of you laugh and scoff at it. Indeed, the Apostle Paul says that you would think it is foolish. Well, that is very true here today in Manchester. As I said, religion is an evil and wicked concept of the devil. Jesus Christ said three times, you must be born again. If you're trusting in religion, if you're trusting in your good works, if you're trusting in the golden rule, these things will never save you. Says if you break one of the Ten Commandments, you have broken all of them. The scripture says if you lie just once, you are a liar by definition. And if you hate somebody, you are a murderer by heart. These are sins of scriptures and they're crimes of the state. Indeed, if you stand before a judge as a liar, who's lied under oath, that is perjury, then you will be punished for this. If you reject the gospel of Jesus Christ, you are calling God a liar. The Bible says if you deny what you hear, if you deny what you see, you are suppressing the truth in unrighteousness and God will judge you for this. Ask yourself this, what sort of religion allows women to be circumcised? Indeed, forces women to be circumcised. What sort of religion kills people who don't agree with them? The Bible knows nothing of this. Jesus Christ lived by example, and he expects his church to live by example. We stand here today preaching to you the whole counsel of God. It's quite easy to stay at home and do nothing, but we are commanded to come on the streets and preach the gospel. You people have to make a decision, because we know that when As a thief, as an adulterate heart, you would be condemned to hell. The Bible says the road to hell is wide, and many there are which go in their act. But the gate to heaven is narrow, and few there are which find the narrow gate. In the Old Testament it says hell is never shut, and it welcomes people every day who come in to spend eternity in the lake of fire. As I've said before, you people have to make a decision whether you will repent today and trust Jesus Christ to save you or stand condemned in your filthy rags and be sent to an eternity apart from Christ to be tortured and burnt forever and ever and ever. 